scared him. But look, yes, he didn't go far. Look, he's, he's figuring it out. Yes, he's become used to it. Well, I think it's safe to say that the puma grouse startled the coyotes. I mean, they would go away, but they wouldn't go very far. And after two or three times, they got more and more used to it, and then eventually came in and, and got the bait. So a puma growl is not a deterrent. No, it's not. All right, let's move on to the next test, bear urine. So the puma growl didn't really work, but I have high hopes for bear sow urine. So I guess I'll just spray some in a circle and then we can put, put our, the bait in. yeah, maybe we can put our bait there on that rock. Okay. Woo, that stuff. I don't know if that's a coyote deterrent, but that's a Brady Bar deterrent, I'll give you that. <coughs> that's bad. <coughs> that's bad. <coughs> Well, there you go. I mean, that that uh, didn't take but a second. No. <laughs> I mean, that did not deter the coyote at all. At all. I think no. it might have attracted him. He came straight to the bait, picked it up, and ran away. So mark that one off our list. Take that one off. For our next test, we have cayenne pepper. So you can see I have a literally a, a cayenne pepper ring around the bait. Well, I'm not sure if this does prove to work, if you have to ring your entire house to keep it, your pets safe. It'd be a lot of cayenne pepper. It would. They're into it now. Look, they're coming. We're gonna have a double. Pepper, you can throw that one out. We had a double. I mean, they both came in and got the bait. So, I mean, that, no, I mean, that is no not a deterrent, deterrent didn't at even, all. Didn't frighten them off for a second. No. But I think the results were pretty dramatic. I mean, we had a so-called deterrent in each test, and every time the coyotes would come right in. 